Spawning on the bottom side of Evergreen Forest. This guy's on match points. He's gotta be careful. It is our orc player, Cheese. And in north it is Saitama, this time in the green. With the troll chieftain. Old habits die hard. And the chieftain dies even harder. It is Saitama. Playing for his tournament win here. Potentially. On a wonderful little map, Evergreen Forest. Big dead zone, big golems. Big economy in general. And lots of piggies. I love it. That's right, we're in time. game five, so... Uh, game six, excuse me, so... It's kind of insane. If she wins so, this one, uh... There's only one map left. What ooh, haven't we which, seen? That is... I think Zoo, right? Yeah! That would be one hell of a decider map. But, oh, the Smasher is on warp, anti warp rider duty, and the warp rider is on... Find the Chieftain. <laughs> Even pokes him a bit. That smash is following up. Oh, she's going for some lumber mills first on the expo. Alright. I'm gonna take a note of his pokes because my troll opener is always a bit struggly. But yeah, gets double hunting Kevin first and then gets a triple hunting in the main later. After triple four hunts. lumber mills. Wow. Yeah, Cheese yeah, has he, been he, doing this. Very yeah, he, he went four lumber mills and one double hunt first, then outpost into lumber, and then afterwards the hunting in the main. And already upgrading another outpost and a lumber mill, which probably should stagger a little bit more since this is going to block some of those buildings going up. Yeah, the lumber but... mill in the second base is actually stuck at minus two wood. It's unfortunate. That would help a lot to speed this up. Yep. Well, it is being delivered. So it's not too bad. Yeah. But for now... Oh, yep, early shopping. Well, Save same, same path as we've seen earlier. So a focus on the Arcane Force and the Lightning and the uh, Totem of Sparks. Yep, has served him well so far. And good, we do ha see a hashtag full equip. I was about to say. But he did get there in the end with his little dream catcher. Dream catcher with the crow feet? Bird of prey feet. Very fancy thing there. Lovely little gobble. So fancy. But no shoes. Apparently, Zarak just doesn't allow shoes. The dark gods. <laughs> no. <laughs> go barefoot or go home. Well, it's almost 3 minutes 17 in, so we should be seeing the Medusas. It is top tier level gameplay anyway. There we go, there we go. On the clock. Yeah. Even uh, earlier this time. You can <laughs> do even earlier if you skip a banner. Or skip two That's... banners, for that matter. You, yeah, you, you the could problem is that it's really hard to pick them up later, I find. Yeah. Or at least it makes generally things a bit awkward. Meanwhile, the Gobble Shaman is just running past. With his little... Ah, oh, he's so cute. Ah, uh, harassment duty? Looks like it. Waddle, waddle, waddle. That'll be interesting. Maybe let's go for the banner. And oh yeah, is... you can get a banner. That's right. Not that Cheese himself can afford it, but <laughs> by the time... Saitama is done here. You can we can go back and clean that up anyway, no problem. Uh, or Saitama can just take his his smashers and go across the map and take out some Medusas. He won't yep. get many kills, but he'll get some of them. We will see. We will see. Well, it's a good distraction. Nice so you either get cheese basically gets value either way. Either way, either he ignores it and he will should be getting that sector up. Or he's going for the Medu uh, or like he's going for the flag and he can do his Medusas in peace. So it's a bit of a win-win. So it's a good use of his time. Because he did have, still have to wait for the goblins before he could take the Medusas. Switch to Saitama, you're gonna be so happy. Ooh, ooh, wait. Ooh, early trail training. The other thing. What am I missing? What am I missing? 
Am I blind? You'll get it eventually. Weakening up, yes! Yes! Golem. yes! He's going for the Ooh. golem. I'm so high. lad. <laughs> that is an anti-timing that Cheese probably doesn't expect. <laughs> yeah, he's just happy that, uh, oh, no one's taking the Medusas. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Noah, stop but to think about why that is. Well, here well, is why. He might get suspicious about the clans that are being left unattended. <laughs> yeah. But let's see how that goes. Oh, I hope he uses the weakening off here. Ah, uh, spinny boy is gonna hurt everyone. <laughs> yeah, Ouchies. Spin. spin to win. I honestly started not dodging it. There we go, there it is. Minus, minus one strike damage. Nice, that's very specific. So that's 12, well, it is still 12 extra damage per strike. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to last long on him. No, it doesn't last long on anything, I think. What's the time? Uh, 10 seconds. Oh, pretty decent, though. I uh, will lose and one smasher now, I think. Oh, nice nice Ooh. dodge. There we go. There's the low ping coming in. Um, yeah, this is a really very nice, smooth game. Uh, really well tanked here by Saitama, though. So this golem cleaves in like 90 Dude. degrees in front of him. Dude, he got the ability cooldown oh. swing. Are you kidding me? That is awesome. That is that so is... good for it. Here come the gobbles. A little late to the party, boys. Yep. Slam 2, throw junk 2, come here. Promotion. Troll and got 2. And only 2 brute forces. This is great. And all that for the price of not even a 3 chopper. That's right. And he runs away with 5,000 gold. There we go. It is beautiful. Unfortunately, this is, it is the hitting training. So I would have loved to see the hex training immediately. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But level Co 7 is not that far away, actually. So... Yeah. You never know. Got to slow the Goblin Shaman. Oh, the sprint! Oh. The takedown. He gets permanently slowed, basically, like this. He has <laughs> to teleport out. Uh, did you know that from the sprint, you not only hurt yourself with the slow, the hits during the sprint also slow enemies. Oh, really? Uh-huh. So oh, it's like double not... good in that way. I did not know that. That's interesting. Okay, starting uh, just about came up in time. And fine, the wall breaker is getting some value, <laughs> so no X uh. You know, I, I actually like this, because he can make something happen with it. Uh, the hex would be good defensively, though. Yeah, like, the hex is good if you have, like, this equal split. Yeah. And then, basically, my idea is you get as many, like, you get, like, five troll guards, and then you can basically up to get bo five bone hexes in theory. And basically, you just take fights, keep the troll down, level the bone hexes up, let them munch, and behind that, you tack into regular bone hexes and heart of the tribe a little bit earlier than usually usual, rather than just throwing yourself onto the underneath the outposts and not getting much done. Excuse me for a second. We have got a triple wall, uh, watchtower wall from Cheese. I, oh, wow. I am so confused. He's scared of dying, I think. Uh, uh, he's got a risen Karak and... Yeah, like he, he, he sees the level 6 of the Chieftain, so he knows what's up. So he knows he lost the Goblin, uh, yeah, a Golem. Spending a lot <laughs> right now on trying to get the Iron Mines rolling, which is obviously really expensive. In the meantime, he should be Ooh. able to get a lot of gobbles. We have an adjustment here. We have Totemic Power this time. Oh, do we? Oh, we have level 2 of it. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Gives him literally one, one more attack point, so rip. Oh, that's not but, great. Uh, no. It is pretty good on, like, your hunters and stuff, though. What? Oh, what? No, he can't have quit. That's gotta be a... Oh. What up? They've got a rehost, right? There's no way that's over. Yeah, this is where it's cut off, exactly. Okay, Frontier Post is probably... pretty undefended, and Cheese would have to teleport there. Uh, we'll try to body block it, but actually, teleports on the hunting cabin. Ooh, yeah, that... huge slam. The That's have, always a weird dead. decision to not try to preemptively go onto the Frontier Post. Especially like you're more spread out against the slam then as well. 
Yeah, and that is gonna be the end of it. So Saitama indeed does take the third tournament uh, that I hosted for Spell for Free. And takes the $50 of the winner. Here are all the stats. Ah, I'm get out of this. And we've got a new champion. She has been dethroned, so that's gonna feel really good.